Om Brothers. What we're talking about in this video is the middle path. And it is one of the commonly misunderstood elements of Buddhism and Hinduism. The middle path, though it sounds like a aesthetic principle, it is not. It is a principle. Uh, it is a logical principle. And I just hear a lot of girls saying, Oh, I just, you know, the truth is in the middle or everything is in the middle. And so they're trying to corrupt the idea of the middle path into following the crowd and doing what everybody else is doing this year or even this age. And we have to remember that, like when we consider the middle path and we consider our beards and consider everything else, that the, even what we would consider to be average or normal or an aesthetic principle has to include all of history. It has to include the 6,000 years of human history. So if somebody even looks at you and says, you're weird, you're not normal because you have a beard. Well, no, the people who are shaving their beards are definitely weird. And they are in you know, a small, small minority of the men throughout history. And so, you know, even if we're looking at these things from an aesthetic principle of the middle, we'll come up with a different answer from what the middle, or let's say the average, would look like in today's society. The principle is to take less action. So, Taking less action is interesting. It's action results in reaction. So you generally want to limit how much action you take. And reaction, of course, in, in Hindu, we're talking about uh, karma. Karma, people assume, is, is good or bad, but it includes good and bad. It, it includes a reaction to any action you've taken. Samsara is any kind of action you've taken to cause another cycle. So, for example, getting divorced and getting remarried would give you a second samsara for your, for your family, for your family, and that, that's a really, that's a heavy burden on your life, you know, having another one of those samsaras, one of the big wheels of change. Um, so we want to limit how many samsaras we create, we want to limit how much karma we create, and we want to take the path of inaction whenever possible. And the action we, we do take is internal, it's not visible, it looks like we're doing nothing. And that's our meditation and our focus and our, uh, what we would call our devotion to, to God and in trying to bring up the inner light, the inner sound from within. And people would look at us and say, well, your life is boring, and, but they have no idea what's on the inside, do they? And what's on the inside is much more interesting. So, let's take a few examples of what this uh, middle path would be. So we have, we have three people. One person uh, tortures himself or herself, they're into uh, piercing and cutting and tattoos and um, pain and whatever they want. <laughs> okay. Um, then you have somebody who is what we'd call a hedonist. And they're, they're going after all kinds of pleasure. You know, physical, externally produced pleasure. And the middle path of that is actually just not going for either. The middle path is not going for pain or pleasure, but rather just enjoying your life as it is, Le enjoying the things that come to you. Um, so, in the KBH we often talk about the problem of masturbation in males because it is such a huge problem today. Not because we enjoy talking about it, um, but because we have to talk about it. And masturbation, of course, would fall onto the side of being the hedonist, trying to find some ultimate pleasure, some ultimate 
a roller coaster ride, you know, higher and higher and more and more wee and lower and lower downs. Um, this is also part of the principle. If you're going for external pleasure or pain, it's just going to swing the other way. So it's going to give you the other stuff too. So pleasure and pain are two sides of the same coin when we're talking about the external material world. How about sleeping? You know, this is funny, but a lot of people, I suppose, in Nepal and India, tried sleeping on nails and you know, sleeping in really uncomfortable things. Um, and then today we have a, more of a problem with people sleeping on really soft beds. Uh, really, the middle path for that is sleeping on the floor and not too uncomfortable, not too comfortable, is it? Not an aesthetic principle, really, but you're just taking things as they are. Um, it, I was talking about this with somebody else. The bed is quite an unnatural thing that hogs up a lot of your home space and a lot of your time, I guess, just with this bed thing. And really, everywhere is your bed. And it's not super comfortable and it's not super... It's not a bed of nails either. Okay. How about, uh, you know, fasting? We we promote fasting. We say fasting is a good way to shed karma. Uh, it's also not doing anything, is it? We're not going out to eat, um, but we're not doing... Um, we're not deliberately trying to make ourselves... Not It's not torture. It's a bit difficult. But... For the general middle path, I think it's just to be a vegetarian, a vegan, and eat simply just some vegetables, some rice, uh, some bread. You know, fill your stomach, but not get into it like, you know, Andrea Dworkin. And Andrea Dworkin. So, I'll, just to cap it all up, the middle path is going to be sleeping on the floor, having your beard, being chased, being sober, uh, being a vegetarian. And in this way, we produce a lot less karma. We start a lot less samsaras. Samsaras, and you have an increasingly blissful inner life. And the outer life is less and less complicated with these basic principles. So tell all your friends. The middle path is not torturing yourself, and it's not pleasuring yourself, but it's rather just being there and enjoying life as it comes to you. Om to everybody.